ESPN College Game Day's Lee Corso made his mascot head prediction in Provo early Saturday morning. Despite the outcry of the Cougar faithful behind him, Corso donned the Super Frog head, picking TCU to win. ESPN College Game Day travels around the nation spotlighting the best football game each week. This is the first time in school history Game Day has broadcast a TCU game. There's two facts. It was the best game on paper and it had great story. TCU, obviously, a great story being undefeated. Many folks around the country think they're one of the better, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten teams in the country. BYU success the past few years, uh, the rivalry. It's just, this is an easy one. This is a no brainer. After the broadcast, game day host Chris Fowler talked about Corso's TCU pick and TCU football this season. I had a, an inkling that because it was this huge zipper bag, it was going to be that, that, that super frog and, and not the cougar. But I, I listen, if he's not, you know, Lee's not afraid to uh, turn a crowd against him. He's done it before. I mean, he's going to pick the team that he legitimately thinks is going to win. I, I, I'm warning TCU fans, the headgear predictions have not been infallible. Um, so far this year, so there's still plenty of hope for BYU. But, I mean, it's fun. I mean, it's great to have Lavelle Edwards uh, up on the set and, and have a legend picking the games, and then it all kind of builds to that moment. And it was pretty balanced. We had a couple folks pick BYU and, and, and you know, Lee go with TCU, so it's good entertainment, we think. Well, I mean, for TCU, the profile has always been defense. We expect TCU to have a stout defense. What we tried to get across this morning is that the personality of the team is expanding. The offense is much better. Um, more wide open. There are playmakers out there, and it's not just about you know Jerry Hughes and rushing the passer and playing tough defense. It's about a balanced team. I think without that, uh, you don't make the, the jump to the next level and, and run the table and, and contest for a BCS bid. So I think the profile is increasing. I think it's still hard for too many fans to find TCU on television, but hopefully today was a nice showcase for both teams. Amongst a sea of BYU fans, a few Horn Frog faithful made the trek to Utah from Fort Worth. We never get any respect from you know the big, the big networks. I thought there's no way we'd get on, but uh, you know as soon as I saw we were coming, we decided you know we're gonna get some tickets, come to the game. So uh, it's it's an awesome experience. I mean you know great things for fans, great things for our conference too. It's uh, you know a lot of a lot of good coverage for us and. You know, it really let the nation know that we're two legit programs that deserve some respect, so it was good. But uh, we heard the game day was going to be here, so Justin and I decided to pack up my car. I had a test Friday I had to take, but um, I took it early, got that out of the way, wrote a paper early, so we're good. We drove 22 hours up here in my Honda Element to get up here. It was pretty sweet, actually, the back of the car. We uh, folded up the back seats and uh, put in a bunch of blankets and pillows and a TV and a PlayStation and some drinks. It was pretty much a lounge if you weren't driving. We drove through the night nonstop to get here. It was, it was worth it. During the broadcast, TCU message boards were flooded with all the information the game day crew presented. Whether in Provo or not, every frog around the country was able to celebrate frog football together. Both Cougar fans and Horn Frogs alike came out for this giant tailgate before the game sponsored by ESPN. Will Coach Corso's prediction hold up this evening? Time will only tell. Travis L. Brown, TCU Daily Skiff.